Hello guys and welcome to Living With The Tide. Today I'm going to show you what's in our grab bag, so stay tuned for that. So guys, this is our grab bag. It's a 20 litre one. We got it from Seago. It came with our life raft. And it's what we keep all our bits and bobs in for when, if, if we ever had to abandon the boat. And I'll show you what's inside that. Also, out of camera at the moment, I've got the flares uh, pot, which has got all my flares in. And I'll show you what flares I carry with us. And a few of the other bits that I'd throw into the grab bag just as I was leaving. So guys, we'll start off with the grab bag. Some of the items inside. First thing we pull out is my mountain leader first aid kit. Doesn't need to be a mountain leader's first aid kit, but this is what I've got left from when we were doing our hiking. Inside here I've got things such as uh, scissors, bandages, plasters, the kind of stuff you'd expect. Also I've added paracetamol and ibuprofen, and of course seasickness tablets, because it can get bumpy on those life rafts. Uh, other than that, it's pretty standard, and that lives inside there. Next item, now I've got a monocle, just so we can see a bit further, just something I'd, I like to carry around in there, we've got one spare, so that lives in there, it is a 16 by 52 times, but it was a, it's nothing special, it's just something I like to, uh, to keep in there. So inside this red bag is all the bits and bobs that are more susceptible to water, so we've got spare glasses for Paige, because she needs them, because she's sort of short sighted. So there we go, good to uh, have a spare set. She's got quite a few spare sets, so we carry one in the grab bag. A knife, knives always handy, cutting the line on the uh, life raft, stuff like that. Torch, this one uses uh, AA batteries. It's fully charged and ready to go. Uh, my saw, it's just in there because I had it extra. It's from my bushcraft, might come in handy, you never know. So somewhere to keep it, otherwise I've got no other other purpose for it on board. Some spare AA batteries, everything I carry here uses AA's, so I carry some spare ones. And last in here is a handheld GPS, just so I can get a fix. Uh, it does long and light, that's about all, but it'll, uh, if I ever needed it, it's there as well. Right, last bits we have in here, because there isn't much in a grab bag, is I have six full days of rations. This again from when I was hiking, it's rations I've got left over. Boil in the bag stuff, but you don't need to boil it, you can eat it cold. Uh, not very nice, but needs must. So we've got those in there as well. And they're dated, I think, for another two years yet, so that should last us for quite a while. If we ever did need to abandon the boat, uh, a couple of days hopefully won't take any longer. Right, the other things that we would grab on the way out is my handheld VHF. This one has the uh, distress button and it's got GPS built into it, so that one comes with us. Unfortunately, I've got no way of charging it when we're in the life raft. It's fully, that's why it stays out, it's always on charge. So we grab it, we throw it into the grab bag, and that would come with us. And the other item we definitely need to grab is our EPIRB, our emergency positioning uh, location beacon. This uh, sends out a GPS uh, distress. This also, of course, tells uh, goes out into the sky, up to the satellites, and goes to the rescue centres in England. So they already know, even if we didn't get a VHF distress out and no one could hear us. Another item I grab, another one to add is our inReach. It also is GPS and has an SOS feature. Again, goes out to their uh, distress uh, rescue centre, and that also would alert more people that, that we need help and also can be tracked. Right guys, we're going to go through the flares now. This is my flare pot. It's uh, just down below my uh, companion way steps. If you watched the boat tour, you would have seen where it lives. The grab bag, which wasn't in the boat tour because I hadn't had it uh, put in place at that point, is actually going to live next to it. So they're both in the same place. Easy to grab when we're uh, abandoning boat, which hopefully we'll never have to do. Right guys, the flares we carry. We've got these, which are the red parachute rockets they're uh, long distance unscrew the bottom pull them fire up into the air can be seen for about 20 30 miles away yeah 30 mile visibility so those 
are in there. That's uh, hopefully not going to roll off the tape. Yeah, they're going to roll around. Of course, they're going to roll around. Right, and we carry four of those. There they are. Also inside, here we go. Is for those are for at night, of course. Big red flares. In day, we use smoke. So I've got here the uh, live smoke Mark Nine. They're called big orange smoke. You uh, pop it, throw it downwind. Big orange smoke. So if anyone with a helicopter or other boats can then spot us if we're uh, in this when we're in distress. So those we've got two of those inside here. Also. Uh, We have the red handheld flares. So these don't go up into there. These are ones you just light. You hold it up, and you should be able to see us. I think they've got the power of it's something like a million candles. It is ridiculously bright. So those are the red ones. We've got uh, four of those in here, shown by the red cap. They've got a red cap. But also in here, and these with these, they look almost identical. But they have a white car. Oh, look at this rolling around. Typical. Make it try and look, make it look neat, but no. So these are the white handheld flares. These aren't emergency distress flares. These are uh, anti-collision flares. Uh, I've got three of them in here. I brought four. One of them's down next to where the E-perb lives. And these are more for if you're going to get run down. See, so lights have given up, and the tank is about to run you down. And hasn't seen you. You like these again? The power of a million candles. You can see these no matter what. But they're kept in the flare pot just because it's the best place to keep them and it's always good to have extra flares if we do need to attract anyone if I've used other flares they still haven't seen us we can always use the white ones so that's every flare I carry right, thanks for watching guys I hope that was enjoyable for you and you learned a bit uh, we're always learning ourselves so if you know anything that we could put inside of our uh, grab bag that could help us one of the things I know I'm missing is bottled water I need to get a few they need to be carried in there because a few uh, bottled water would help also stuff uh, I know needs to go in is passports we put passports in the grab bag for when we're on long sails etc because if we have to abandon boat I don't want the passports to sink with the boat but normally we keep them in a safe but if we're sailing nobody's gonna rob us on a sail so we put them in the grab bag and uh, but we've got them to hand so if you do know of anything else that might be handy then please comment uh, let us know and uh, any questions ask away also if you want you can subscribe that would be a big help give us a like and I hear there's a, a bell you meant to ring and that means that you get all our updates not just a few through our subscription so if you give us a ring the bell that would be a big help as well please guys